It has been a whirlwind week for Minnesota high school athletes. The excitement of football and volleyball coming back is still fresh, but with the official start to team practices starting up in just a few days, there is some concern for athletes that isn't virus related. ABC6 Sports reporter Jordan Reed has a story. With the new amended football and volleyball seasons rapidly approaching, some concerns have surfaced about the quick turnaround and the physical effect it will have on athletes. They're used to doing two a days in August and getting preparation for their, at least in football, and getting preparation for their real games that start in September. So they have almost a six week, uh, four, four to six week uptick in their strength and conditioning. And also being learning how to hit and taking hits. So the big question is, how can athletes work toward preventing injuries in such a short amount of time? There is no way that we're going to escape a this shortened six-week time without an increase in injuries. I hope that that doesn't happen, but I just think that it's just not enough ramp-up time. Uh, it's just going to be hard to catch their ability and their muscular uh, muscular training to get them to the level where they're not going to get injured. I would definitely say ACL is going to be uh, uh, higher at higher risk. And I think the fractures are going to be at higher risk because they can't move as fast to get out of the way. Luckily, some teams are not jumping right into practices without some conditioning under their belt. Going all the way back to the summer, starting in July, we opened up our non-sport specific strength training and encouraged as many students as possible under the guidelines and the protocols that we had in place to come back and start exercising in hopes of a season. In Rochester, certified athletic trainers and conditioning coaches are on staff to help athletes. So those athletes that have done that or have done the strength and conditioning on their own, throughout the summer um, are going to be at an advantage to not only a performance but uh, injury risk as well. Regardless of resources, experts say hydration, nutrition, stretching and targeted workouts are key when it comes to lowering injury risk. In Rochester, Jordan Reed, ABC6 News. Jordan, thank you. Now more information on the recommended workouts can be found on our website at kaaltv.com under featured links or under the sports, local sports tab.